if it's only temporary or short term it can actually be a cardboard box you just I mean the cardboard box will eventually break up but uh, if it's short term just for some sprouts which don't take very long at all then you can recycle that and you don't need uh, storing boxes storing boxes aren't the greatest thing to have around but you may as well use them and what we're going to do to stop any leaching we're going to line it with paper always whenever you use a styrene box just just line it with paper and you'll need a newspaper preferably today's paper so that it's nice and fresh sorry about that um, yeah. okay then so that's all you do very simple then we just fill it full of dirt okay now we need the dirt okay potting mix whatever you can get I'm recycling some of the the soil that was used from a previous I'm making a mess of it of course look you're going to make a mess anyway beautiful worms that shows you that the soil is good so we've got lots of nice worms in there we'll be very careful of them because they are guardians of our soil so without the worms we would be pretty lost so we'll look after those guys they're, they're very special we've actually got to look after the soil and put those uh, all of that living essence back into the soil and this is the way that you can do it as well and you start learning to understand or you start understanding just what is involved in good soil and just how important it is so starting with the basics if you haven't got a backyard where you can plant then this is the next best thing you saw the worms in there we have some worm farms at the back of us which we'll have a look at shortly that's awesome that is really good for composting and you can see how the worms break down all of all of our stuff that we throw away and then we end up with beautiful soil very simple way of finding out how we can interact with the earth really important and we're getting a lot back from it so what we're going to be doing is a very basic uh, sunflower sprout okay also with doing sunflowers you don't need much soil at all this is probably for my comfort that we have such a lot of uh, soil in here but you don't actually need much soil at all remember it's just coming from the seed so it's not going to send its roots down 500 feet to gain all of the nutrients it's just coming from the seed itself so we don't need much soil but we'll put a little bit we'll put a little bit more soil in here anyway as I said just for my comfort all we're going to do is put the seed mix in that's all you'll need now you just put a little bit of soil over the top of it and watch it grow and once again how simple is that it is there to be able to pick at your leisure awesome for smoothies too okay so that's it just covering it with a little bit of soil at the top of it and that's all you need just very lightly very lightly okay now all we need is just to water it and then it's complete 